I'm going to show you how to install the automatic fan speed control script on your PFSense powered WatchGuard firewall. The first thing we need to do is actually log into the firewall and get into the shell environment. Once we're actually there, we're going to mount the file system as read write by typing in forward slash etsy rc.conf mount underscore rw and you can auto complete by pressing tab then pressing return now we're going to actually download the files from my website for the fan speed control so type fetch dash o for output space forward slash usr forward slash local and this is the directory where the file will, will actually be going space https colon forward slash forward slash www.hexhound.com forward slash files forward slash fan ctrl dash new dot zip then press return shouldn't take too long to download and you can see the location is now slash usr slash local fan control dash new dot zip so we're going to change directory to forward slash usr forward slash local and we can do an ls just to see our new file which is right here then use the tar command tar dot xzf fan control dash new dot zip and press return to unzip it and you will have two new files that appear along with some new directories I'm not going to run this because I have some modified files I still need to put up on Hexhound, so I don't want to overwrite them. The new files are actually in Etsy and SBIN, and these are relative to USR local. So inside of Etsy, and we can do an ls on this, there's an rc.d directory, and anything that's in here on pfsense that ends in a .sh should automatically run at boot time. So in this case, it's fan control d.sh, and that's our new file. And inside of sbin, which is also relative to this directory, there's fan control d, which is the daemon that actually runs fan control. We need to do one more thing to tidy this all up, and that's to create a brand new file so that FreeBSD will recognize the daemon when it boots. So we're gonna type touch and all this does is create a blank file for us to work with. So touch forward slash etsy rc.conf.local and you don't get any output. And then you type in vi, which is a text editor, forward slash etsy rc.conf.local. And you see we have a blank file. You also see there's text down here. So for us to actually insert text in VI. It's a little bit different than a traditional text editor. You can't just start typing. What you need to do is press I for insert. And you'll see the text down here goes away. And now we're going to type in fan ctrl d underscore enable equals double quote yes in all caps double quote. And now we need to save the file. So to do that we're going to press escape once. Then we're going to press colon and then X. Then you just press return. And you'll see we have output here and it should be, should be saved at this point. We can test our control script by typing in slash usr local etsy rc.d fan control d.sh and if you press type in start after this it will automatically start in my case, it's currently running, so I'm going to type in status, and you'll see it is currently running. If I type in stop, you'll, he'll, you'll actually hear the fan spin up. So you might be able to hear that behind me, but the fans are very loud now. And if I type in start, they'll slow right back down. So that's hex sound, and this is how you install your automatic fan speed control script. I hope you enjoyed this video.